Hello, bros, and welcome to this video for my production. Made for the Sakura Succubus 4. So, we yeah, started playing beach volleyball. It seems that Cosmos and Ayu is in the team, which uh, is surprising. But I played um, volleyball, but not beach volleyball. And I would really like to play that uh, more because it's fun if you don't have rules. Uh, Exactly, like you can box the ball or um, you can even uh, use your feet to kick the ball as long as it gets over the net. It's at least very fun. <laughs> and it seems like Hazel is very determined to win. Here we go. And this is my IU, IU super special serve. Just try and hit it if you think you're strong enough. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tut. Whoa. That uh, ball's going up really high. It's very being swallowed by the sky. I don't know if you could hit it so hard, are you? Eh. I hate to admit it, but that is impressive. I thought this would be a cakewalk, but you're stronger than you look. <laughs> That's what you get for underestimating me, Hazel. I'm not uh, Japan's top idol for nothing. My job is uh, way harder than you might think. I have to perform on stage for hours, and a lot of my dance routines are really complex. I train uh, righteously every day. My stamina is nothing to be sneezed at. I won't uh, be going down without a fight. That ball's coming back down, hey, so can you return it? It's coming in a funny angle. It's uh, moving super quick. It's like a comet. This might be harder than, uh, harder than I thought. But I ain't gonna throw in the towel over something like this. Oh, she received it. She actually received it. Of course I did. I'm not a uh, amount of letting a pipsqueak like I you get the better of me. Especially not in front of you. I return all of your spikes, no matter how nasty, even if it kills me. I'll eat the sand however many times it takes, all the sake to receiving Lady Yu's praise. I can't afford to lose. My my, you're awfully determined. I would have been uh, content on playing a nice relaxing game. But you're pushing yourself so hard, I feel obligated to do, go all out too. Take this. T At the ball coming back. What <laughs> what we do, are you? Don't panic, Cosmos. Let me take care of this. I'm more than just a pretty face, and I can give as good as I get. Don't smack, crack! Ew. I was so holding on the uh, hand of, uh, to my forehead as I observed. This is very vigorous the game of beach volleyball. Both sides are giving it everything they got. The ball is being smacked back and forth across the net with such velocity that I can scarcely see it. It's nothing more than a blur. I sometimes forget my partners are Sockabee, but this uh, scene has reminded me of the insensible truth. They're not ordinary humans. There's no way i ever be able to pump a volleyball with such force. I could have uh, biceps fuller and firmer than uh, boulders, and it uh, would make no difference. In the context of raw physical energy, we humans simply cannot hope to compete. Hey, nice return, Hazel. The ball's moving so fast I can't see it. It's fine. I deal with it. Smack. I don't think uh, I've ever seen Ayu go this uh, hard before. She doesn't uh, seem to care for uh, for intense physical activity outside of performance. Her body is curvous but it's slender, her arms are willowy and she doesn't have much in the way of muscle mass, but she is killing it out there. Ayu is something of, uh, to behold, but Hazel is even more intense. She dances from side to, uh, of the court uh, to the other, kicking up sand in her wake. Her muscles uh, ripple beneath her tanned skin and her ponytail stream behind her as she smacks spikes and serves the ball over the net.
Sorry, are you, but you uh, have to do better than, than that. Our cross uh, a shot ain't enough to stop me. I could see it coming from miles away. Uh, that uh, neat head is more formidable than her happy go lucky personality would suggest. I have to kick uh, this up a notch. Go right ahead. Don't hold back at me uh, here. I'm having so much fun. Oh, yeah? You think this is fun? Why don't you try this form for size? Thud. Oh no, you don't. Smack. Uh, why do I hear thunder? They go, yeah, it's so hard I wouldn't be surprised if they burst the poor volleyball right open. This competition is incredible. But it's kind of scary too. I hope I and Hazel never turn on me as they have this volleyball. My life will no longer be worth living. Isn't this nice? If a miss uh, sideless up to me, her lips curved into a motherly smile. I'm glad they're getting along so well. It's nice to see you play with the others. She doesn't get much of a chance to let off steam given her status. As her older cousin, I feel ha very happy on her behalf. <laughs> yeah, uh, same here, I guess. You really smiled in the soccer ball strand. She spent much of her time upon her throne, scowling while her subjects bowed and scraped before her. She seemed almost uh, petulant, stressed and, uh, and angry, save uh, when she was with me. It is nice to see her having such a good time. Take this. Smack. But that doesn't make her spike any less terrifying. I just had a thought. Perhaps the pair of us could team up. We could try to take Hazel and you on. I'm not that lightly minded myself. I prefer gentle pursuits such as Karuta. But I might make uh, for a nice change of pace. What do you think, Hiroki? Tell smack crack. So we have I really rather not. I'm not a master's chest. I'm too young and handsome to die. I happen to like my head where it is. Thanks. And if I get killed by spending a uh, volleyball I never be able to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> but considering all uh, these options is a no and not one single one is yes, I think I go with the uh, last uh, one. Sorry for me, but I have to pass. The game of beach volleyball looks pretty dangerous. If I got hurt n uh, now, I'd never be able to marry you. That's why I got to look after myself. M m marriage? <laughs> if even shakes turn scarlet. Are you truly considering marrying me, Hiroki? The thought has crossed my mind from time to time. You make a pretty good wife. The Misa Soup is to die for. Though, uh, not literally. I uh, still have pressurely zero desire to involve myself in a violent uh, volleyball match despite the Fumi's reading. Goodness me. That is awful kind of you to say. Fumi smiles, one hand pressed against her cheek. I would be most pleased if such an event ever did come to pass. So I will abstain from insisting you join my sisters. This may sound selfish, but I think I would rather have uh, you to myself. Uh -huh. If Fumi winds her arms through mine, giggling to herself as she does so. Her face is flushed and uh, her glasses are... Uh, <coughs> Starting to steam up. I wonder what uh, she's thinking about. Marrying my dear Hiroki would be so wonderful. Truly, it sounds like a dream. I would love to walk uh, down the aisle with you wearing white. Then after our wedding we will be in the reception and after that our first night together. Naturally, be sure to wear the most expensive linerage I have uh, beneath my wedding dress. I would not want to disappoint you. 
Uh-huh. It doesn't take her genius to figure out uh, what the thoughts are going through her head. Ifumi might be an elegant, refined woman, but she has quite the lewd side of her own. I must come uh, uh, with the territory being a succubus. I was glad I was able to take her mind off the volleyball death match. I feel like I dodged a bullet there. Goodness me. That was quite the workout. I cannot remember the last time I played that much. Perhaps my enthusiasm was uh, suitable for the princess of uh, the succubus realm. But that was entertaining too. You sit on the couch in the living room area, both hands resting in their pure upon her lap. It's a little after midday, and we just finished eating a delicious and extravagant lunch prepared by Hifumi. You shaved out of her swimsuit, and she is back in her white summer dress with the blue sash and match is her eyes. She smiles at Hazel, who is sitting beside her, and her expression soft and gentle. Thank you for indulging me, Hazel. I enjoyed our beach volleyball match immensely. So no prob. I'd be glad to play with you anytime, Lady You. I must also thank you, Ifumi, for cooking me a delicious food. I have missed you cooking while I have been in the human realm. It's been uh, my pleasure, dear. I think you could use some uh, fattening up. You've been working yourself so very hard, I fear you end up like a skeleton. You must remember to eat, every, uh, even when I'm not uh, there to nag you. Sometimes it sli- slips my mind. But I try to be more conscientious in the future. Thank you for letting me stay in your home, Ayut, for giving me a room to of my own, and thank you, Cosmos, for playing with me on the beach. I think actually Fumi's cooking is better than Gordon Ramsay. I don't think actually think Gordon Ramsay even knows how to cook properly anymore, considering he hasn't cooked for years, he's only criticized people's cooking instead of actually cooking himself. I mean, I know for a fact, I could cook food that Gordon Ramsay would actually wonder how the hell I did it. Because I'm actually amazing myself. I don't know how I cook uh, so good food sometimes. Because I actually, I love my own food that uh, I cook. I managed to make it all good uh, somehow. And even want to thank you, Marina, for not holding my previous act of pretty cruelty against me. I feared you might hold it against me, but uh, you have been surprisingly cordial. I did not hold them against you, but I have since learned to let it go. It does not uh, do uh, <coughs> for adults to hold pretty uh, grudges. I would like to think myself more mature than that. You are very mature indeed. Perhaps I could learn a thing or two from you if uh, you... If you... Uh, and to be a well-respected leader. I've always had something of a short temper, but lashing out at my subjects rarely solves any problems. It only makes them resent me or fear me. I would prefer to augment my rule not uh, by oppressing others, but by appeasing them. The succubus room will be a better place, I think, if I'm able to manage my own temper. Finally, you turn her gaze upon me, her powder blue eyes soft and gentle. Thank you, Hiroki, for being so nice to me and for showing me such a good time. Your kindness is most appreciated. You don't need to thank me for that. I was only doing what came naturally. That is very sweet of you. You giggles. I wish I could stay longer, but I fear I have uh, tarried long enough as it is. My servers will start to fret as my uh, whereabouts. If I'm absent for too long, the succubus realm may collapse. Thank you all. Thank you all for you. I have most enjoyed our reunion, but now it's time to say goodbye. This hold me, hold me in my heart, uh, my dear Hiroki. I do not know where, where next I will be able to see you, but I. But I will never stop thinking of you. I really do love you. I love you too, you.
I wish you could stay longer, but I wouldn't want to keep uh, you away from your work. I got chewed uh, out uh, by my boss uh, if I'm five minutes late, and I'm only a photographer. Being a princess, a whole nation must uh, come to an unprecedented amount of stress. It is stressful, yes. But it's less uh, so knowing that uh, you exist in the world and I have <coughs> that you care for me. Now I shall take my leave. Farewell, my dear subjects. And farewell, Hiroki, my dear subject of all. You princess of a feather light kiss against my mouth and quicker than blinking disappears. Where once you is at, there's now a, nothing more than the empty air. She was only here for a day, but I miss her already. It wouldn't have been nice if she could stay longer, but hello, this is uh, our final goodbye. We'll see an, one another again sometime, perhaps sometime soon. We go on dates like we did when we were teenagers, newly infatuated with one another. I take her to the countryside again and we go for a long walk through the fields and paddle in the crystalline rivers. Or perhaps we come back to the beach so we can enjoy the surf and watch the settling sun. Either way, we sure be enjoy yourself. You was my first uh, ever girlfriend and while she's no longer my only girlfriend, she still holds a special place in my heart. It doesn't matter what, that she is a succubus and I'm a human. It doesn't change my feelings for you, not one bit. I really am fond of her. Actually, what would have happened if you have chosen to actually not go into the forest? What would have happened then? I really am fond of her. The rest of the day passes pleasantly enough after you's absence. I go to the beach and get into a sand <coughs> sand cattle building competition with Cosmos and Hazel with Cosmos wins by a large margin. She has a good eye for artistic stuff. It must be because of all those photos she takes. Cosmos takes a lot of victory snapshots of her winning sand castle and even a few photos of my less than impressive sand uh, palace and Hazel distinctly disappointing sand mound. My palace is not uh, grandiose enough to be called a castle, but at least able to stay up, but Hazel's has an utter disaster. It collapsed in on itself like an overbaked flan, leaving nothing in its wake but an unshapely pile of sand. The time uh, slips away from us as it is won't be doing after before I knew it the sun has set. The sexuals returned to our beach house to eat a filmic delicious cooking and after a meal the owner of the said beach house sired us up to me. Hey Hiroki. Are you looks at me cautiously her eyelashes fluttering? I don't know if you notice, but it's quite a beautiful night. The stars are shining and the ocean looks dark and mysterious, like a mirror. There's a bit of chill, but it's not too cold. In fact, it's a um, rather... I use voice drop to a whisper. R -r Romantic. I um, always wanted to go on a starry moonlight walk alongside a person I love, so um, if you're not too busy then... Hey guys, listen up. <laughs> this time I would actually say, not this time, uh, hey, so you have to wait an hour. Because I actually uh, would actually uh, give equal attention to everyone, and Ayu is the, like the only one that has been uh, pretty much left out at this point. It's a loud voice interject as it w won't to doing. During this vacation, uh, she's hauled me out of bed and stupid... Uh, O'clock in the morning, barred in on me and you during private moment, and now she's uh, intruding on I uh, and I. I was commenting clear how insensitive she can unwittingly be. But I doesn't look emotionally amused. In fact, she's pouting. Can't this wait? I was trying to talk to Hiroki. 
You can talk to him any time. I got something I want to share with all of you, and it's super important. I think you love this uh, new plan of mine. What plan? Mine, uh, who was said? Uh, uh, actually, I think the. Uh, forgot a letter there. Marina, who was sitting on the couch with a Fumi, idly flicking through TV channels, gives her an uneasy side eye. It doesn't even go. Uh, again, does it? To me, that credit, then her voice only travels a little when the dreaded keyboard comes up. If it wasn't aware of her phobia, I might not even notice that small slip up. It would not be my going on another walk in the woods, I confess. I'm quite curious about that shrine. Perhaps we could try to break in. It was secured by a lock, but it must be quite uh, an old one. I am sure a bit of uh, finesse could remove it, or reveal oh, all sorts of wonders. If my eyes light up. Stuff uh, that shine is full of old abandoned equipment. I'm sure it is filled with long forgotten treasures. Dusty perhaps, but a uh, great culture were. Like what? Oh, I don't know. It's only a hypothesis, but I like to believe it's full of items for rituals, or maybe uh, torture equipment. Uh, okay. <laughs> The torture? <laughs> okay, now uh, that tremor in Marina's voice is uh, palatable. It's funny, she is all, uh, of all people who uh, bark at the thought of uh, rusty old torture devices given all she's done to Iron and Hazel, but she must make a distinction between humiliation and outright mutilation. As sadistic as Marina can be, she's never once uh, tried to tear out uh, anybody's uh, fingernails. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Asa, meanwhile, seems to have no conviction about torture. I never knew she was into things like that. Do you think we... <laughs> do you know much about torture implements for me? Only a little. I'm interested in human history, no matter how gruesome it may be, and I like to research. I know that in ancient times, some secluded villagers had very peculiar rituals. The residents in the village they worshipped the wrathful gods and no uh, peace them sometimes they would. Uh, I think that's enough. If uh, I have no interest in hearing anybody's spooky stories, thanks to you for me. But these aren't stories, these are true tales sourced from historical documents. And um, I had hard evidence to suggest many in Central A. Ago, that residents of a several small secluded villages scattered across their farm would indulge in bloodthirsty practices such as. I don't think Marina is interested in filming. Maybe you can talk about it some other time. Very well. I will abstain from uh, derailing the night with my silly interests too much. My apologies, Hazel. If we bows our head uh, contentedly. What were you going to say before I, I was so rudely interrupted? It's alright, uh, don't worry about it. I interrupt all the time. We ain't going back to the shrine though, at least it's not uh, in my to-do list. Sorry about that for me. I thought we could instead all go on out on the beach, you see. Hazel Greens then pulls a colorful cabinet box out from uh, somewhere. Where was she keeping that anyway? It was way too big to uh, slot into a pocket. Guess I uh, shock it up the succubus magic and try to not question the precise physics or lack of too much. I bought a whole bunch of fireworks with me and I thought we could go set them off on the beach. Fireworks? Such a stress of taste of her mouth agape. You mean the sort you see at festival, the big fire flowers which explode in the air like a bang bang bang? <laughs> That's exactly right. I couldn't think of a more fitting description if I tried. I got a whole bunch of rockets in here, it's all sorts of colors, and I brought along some sparkles too. Do you think you'll give it a go? In such a nice night, these fireworks should show up really well. Oh, I want to. I want to. It uh, sounds like fun. Fireworks. Hmm. I found them rather vulgar myself and unnecessarily noisy, but I suppose it's not a bad suggestion. 
Certainly it was superior to the silly test of courage you had us embark upon. If you wish to set these fireworks off, I can always advise. I do not trust you to do it without setting yourself on fire, Hazel. Fireworks. How lovely. It's been a long time since I last saw them. You would be more be more than happy to join you. Though my curiosity about the old shine has uh, yet to be uh, doused. <laughs> Please, if you drop the shine. I don't want to tell you about that place. Much less uh, go near it. It's uh, so run down. It's uh, health uh, and safely has uh, just waiting to happen. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> If you make your coily, I'll try to behave. Oh, hmm. I would rather spend this night alone at Hiroki's side, but you all sound so excited I wouldn't like to ruin your fun. This is a pretty bad timing, but... Alright, fine. I eventually declares with some uh, forcefulness. You can set off these silly fireworks if you want. It, it, it is summer after all. Just don't expect me to whoops uh, and cheer like an idiot. I'm not a little kid. Then it's uh, decided. As a punch is a first in there, let's go and set uh, these bad boys off. I sure it'd be lots of fun. Van Cracker Pop. Oh, that was a super big one. The colors are so very beautiful. It's unfair in the uh, sky like a petals of a uh, flower. Huh. It's not like these fireworks are anything special. I've seen better in my time. It's not so immature uh, being impressed by a paltry display like this, but... Bang! Crack a pop! <laughs> I guess they are kind of pretty. They remind me of a uh, shooting star. They are nice, right? Aren't uh, you glad I bought them? Glad is a bit of an overestimate. I'm indifferently... I'm indifferent, really. Eh. You are so tough to please, are you, are you? But don't worry. The next volley is gonna knock your socks off. Are you ready, Marina? I'm ready when you are. Okay. You can light the next batch. Right. That should do it. Whoosh. Oh, these rockets are going very high indeed. They are have disappeared into the sky. I wonder when they're going to explode. The waiting after the experience, it feels like we are in a real festival. Yes it did. All the missing is the goldfish scoping and the stall selling uh, takoyaki. Uh, hold on a moment. Uh, and I'm back. Speaking of which, I'm rather partial to festivals. They take place at shrines too. Please enough about that, about the shrine. Haven't we left that behind us? Very, very far behind us. Back in the forest where it belongs. I know I uh, desire to go back there either. It was creepy and uh, dilapidated, and I bet it was full of bugs. Bugs can be charming though. Not cockroaches or woodly, wood lice. Hey, look, you guys, here it comes. Bang, crack a pop. <laughs> I'll show me. They're red and yellow and green. My, my, my. They're simply beautiful. That's pretty impressive, actually. I have quite a low, <coughs> low opinion of Hazel at the best of times, but she outdid herself with these fireworks. They are lovely. Were they expensive? Maybe a bit. Bang, crack a pop. But the uh, money is no object. Uh, I wanted to make uh, this holiday one to remember. And it certainly is. You excelled yourself. Goodness me. These fireworks are beautiful. Bang, crack a pop. It's only a great single couple with the popping of the fireworks drifts from the uh, beach. Uh, <coughs> beach carried on the crisp night air. I mean, if uh, I would symbolize a uh, a firework, it would be whistling and then a bang. <laughs> well, I can't make a, a large, uh, high bang sound. Uh, 
Also, like, <laughs> I like the best thing I can do. <clears throat> if you're a submarine and I, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Barkhouse is kneeling a little way as apart from them, playing with the uh, sparklers. She looks a bit lonesome on her own. Should I join her? Well, if she looks lonesome, well, hang out with Cosmos. I mean, I would hang out with Ayu because I have been uh, quite uh, left out, uh, I think. So, but um, let's uh, hang out with Cosmic because we don't have that option. Yeah, I think I see, see what she's doing. I want her to be left out. I put Cosmos staring wide eyed at the sparkles and kneels down uh, beside her. She looks like an interested cat. So, at least that was all I have to focus on Kurosaki before this time. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!